Hi there, Cahill here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create great pitches and give you a bit of insights on pitch strategies that will get you more success. Let's jump into it. All right, I've logged into Press Jockey here and you can see my dashboard, keywords, workspaces, etc. I'm going to come down over here to the left-hand side, keywords and pitches, just so you can get an idea of what is going on with this section. Now, I've got an agency account, so you can see I've got agency pitches and workspace pitches and then press jockey templates, okay? So what is the difference between each of these? Let me explain. If you're in an agency account, you will see the same thing. If you're not, don't worry about this. You can skip ahead a little bit more and we'll get into how to create great pitches in the, in further on in the video, okay? So first things first, what are, what are all of these sections about? Well, you've got agency pitches. These are templates that you can create that you can apply to your entire agency, okay? You can apply it to all of the workspaces in your account and every workspace will have this pitch template. Now, you can do this in two ways. One, you can do this so that you as a master account have the control over this pitch and then all other agency all other agency workspaces, you know, they get to see the pitch and use it, but they cannot edit it. Okay. So if you want to really keep that pitch locked down, you can use this. The other alternative is that you can actually apply this to all workspaces or different workspaces in your agency. And now that workspace or that client can edit that pitch and tweak it and modify it to their liking. Okay, so that's how this agency pitches work. Workspace pitches are the reverse of this. So workspace pitches are when you are in a workspace or a client account and you create a pitch, that pitch is for that workspace. And so you'll be able to see these pitches here and then you'll be able to copy pitches that are really working for one client to another client or to your agency and then give it to everyone in your agency. Okay, so you can go both ways. If you have a VA or a freelancer or a team member who's really doing well with pitches, just copy those pitches into your agency account and then distribute that to all the other clients in your agency so that you can get better results for everyone, okay? And then lastly, you'll see press jockey templates here. So we put in a couple, we will continue to fill these out with some more, but you can use these as well, okay? And in order for you to use them, you need to copy them over and you need to copy them to either your agency or to various workspaces in your agency. And that's how you're able to use them, edit them, et cetera, okay? All right, let's jump into the good stuff. And so if you are just coming back into this because you've got a small business account, Perfect. We're going to move forward. Let's go to your matches okay? and we're going to look at how to use pitches. So when you load the your matches um, table, the your matches screen, you're going to see a number of different matches that show up for your account. Okay. We're not going to talk about how to organize these and go through these right now. That, that's in another video. We're instead going to view it. You can click anywhere and we're going to talk about using your pitch here in terms of your response, okay? So you can enter a custom response, right? Enter a custom response here. So you can type in a response for this pitch specifically if you'd like to do that, okay? So that is an option that you have. Every workspace can do this, every client can do this, small business can do this, everyone can do this, okay? You can select from your pitches. So right down here, I hit select pitches, and you can see the pitches that you have and you can select them, okay? That screen design will be updated, so it'll probably look a bit different in, by the time you watch this video, okay? Or, and this is where I recommend you really start to get familiar, is you can leverage Jamie, our AI assistant, to create pitches for you, okay? So you'll see, we've trained it on four different pitches right now. We're adding to this and creating more and more pitches, but this will really help you accelerate and get over writer's block and give you really solid templates and a foundation to work with. Okay, so we make it really easy for you. 
All you have to do is select the type of pitch that you want. So compelling, 50 to 120 words. You've got captivating and interesting, 50 to 100 words. Controversial, punching short, hype, controversial. Okay, so you, you can select what you want. I'm going to select one. And then I'm going to hit create response, okay? Now, the AI sometimes needs to be prompted a couple of times. So you might need to hit create response two times in order to get a good, good pitch going. But I'm just going to hit create response. And what Jamie's going to do is it's going to read the request, look at the name, and start to create a pitch, okay? Now, we've got updates coming, which are really exciting to create even better pitches that get better responses. So do get familiar with this because this is where the magic is happens okay so i'm going to hit create response and boom you're going to see it create a response for me now i still need to put my human touch on it okay i still need to edit this i still need to put my brand into it my personality into it but it will give you a really good starting point okay so you, you'll notice here this person is looking for gift bag items for 50 years of hip-hop gift giving lounge for the BET Awards on Friday, June 23rd. Okay, great. So you'll notice here in the pitch, notice you were looking for gift bag items for the 50 years of hip hop gift giving lounge during the BET weekend. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna hit enter twice here. With my unique experience in creating, you know, unique and memorable gift bags, so you can, well, sorry, with my extensive experience in creating unique and memorable gift bags. Okay, so it's okay, but it, Gives us, gives us a great start. So now you can actually change that sentence and you can say, you know, whatever. I've given, I've given really interesting and unique products to gift bags because I offer X, Y, and Z. I'd love to help you out, right? So you can edit this little piece of the sentence and then send off your page, you know, or you can have, just do something like this. Have you considered adding personalized hip hop inspired merchandise or brand accessories to the gift bags? You know, this is what my company offers, right? Boom. So I just edited the pitch really quickly, and now I've got a an interesting pitch. You know, um, let's chat more about your vision, how we can make it a reality. You know, we've got, you know, a reality. We've got, you know, whatever, 50 products to choose from and have been you know, and have had celebs like X, Y, Z use our products, right? And then at the end, you can see again, the AI didn't quite finish it. So you've got to add your human touch. P.S., um, you know, I'd be happy to... A, B, C, you know, like whatever you want to offer. Okay, boom. Now we've got an interesting pitch that we can actually hit reply to. That was super snappy, super fast. Okay, let's, we can do it again with a different pitch. And I can actually just stop generation. I can create response. Erica, I know she's looking for gift bags, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you can see now the our assistant Jamie wrote a different brand message, a different pitch that we can edit again a little bit and send off, right? So this is this is how fast it can be. It can really, really be quick and easy. All right. So let's talk about the strategy of pitches for just a minute because I think it's really important to understand. Okay. There are a couple of key, key points that you want to look at when you are creating a pitch. Okay? One, you'll notice that with every single one of our AI-assisted pitches, they're extremely short, okay? 50 to 120 words, 50 to 100 words, 30 to 80 words, 30 to 80 words, okay? So we've got to remember that the media is quite busy, right? If you've put out a press request or a media request for experts, you're getting tons of inbound responses. Hey, I can help you. Hey, I can help you. And a lot of them are probably going to be garbage. Yours is not. Yours is going to be awesome. But a lot of them are garbage. So you got to remember the media is like, ah, they're trying to get through all this really quickly so that they can write the best article or so they can have the best podcast or so they can you know, put the best gifts in their gift bag. As, as we're looking at this example right here. How can you help them 
make a quick decision. Make your pitch snappy. Make it short. Get to the point, okay? So if you've got some interesting ideas, you've got some interesting value you can provide, some interesting insights, in this case, something interesting about a really unique gift, awesome. Give a suggestion, put in your idea, make your pitch short. They don't want to hear your life story. They're going to look at this and say, okay, yes, I want to talk to you, or no, I don't want to talk to you, okay? So make your pitch short, okay? The other thing you want to make sure you do is be relevant. So again, using Jamie, the AI assistant, will help you with that tremendously. This is going to make it so easy for you because the AI assistant, Jamie, it looks at the pitch and makes the response relevant to this specific pitch. Okay, so this is something that you want to leverage. Now, again, you got to put your human touch on it, but this will take you 80% of the way there and make it way easier for you to actually respond to a lot of these pitches. Okay. The other thing that we like to do, as you've seen me do in just a quick little example here, is you got to put your personal touch into it. Okay. So these generic responses that you might have seen from, you know, freelancers or VAs online, like, here, sir or madam, I have this company, blah, 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 blah. No. That will not work with the media, okay? Put your personality into it. Put your pizzazz into it, your, your style, your brand into it, okay? If you write in a certain way, add it. Write in a certain way and send that response off, okay? You got to have some personality to this, okay? And then lastly, what I would always recommend is, um, you know, do provide valuable insights like I said in the beginning, in a short way, okay? So make it relevant. So make it short. Um, make it relevant. Add your personal brand and provide value in a short way again, okay? So those are the concepts of making good pitches. Just to give you a quick example, we have gotten opportunities from Press Jockey and we have gotten placements from Press Jockey with pitches that are as short as 44 words. So that's like, you can imagine, it's like, hi, hi there. So that two words, you know, noticed your press request about, and it's like, wow, 40 words is like two or three lines. So extremely short responses have gotten us some traction, which is awesome. Okay. Again, keep it short. Now, there are other concepts that we can get into, some advanced concepts in terms of how you can leverage LinkedIn to do this and how your profile needs to look like, et cetera. But that's in another, in, in, in another, another time we will look at that. And we do have we do have options for you to get training on that as well. Okay. But for your pitches right now, follow those four things and you will see a lot more success. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, good luck. Get out there and start responding to the to the press requests that you're that you're finding um, in your account.